Here we go again. I've made more videos in the last few days than I have in my whole life. But that's what happens with online COVID education. All right, so uh, chapter six, we're going to do these two objects. So this video, I'm going to talk to you about the tube mount. But just by way of uh, reminder, when it's done, you're going to have these two objects. They're going to be named. You're going to tell me that where things start, like, you know, the anchor base starts here. Everything underneath is the anchor base. It's this one. Your uh, Google Classroom tells you what material and what color it is. And the tube mount starts here, and, of course, it goes down through here. All right, so let us start at the beginning. As Maria says, a very good place to start. Boom. All right, there's a sketch. Now, the thing you need to do here is thinking where do I remember our first sketch determines the orientation of everything. So I'm going to be drawing this. Let's look at it. I want this to, I mean, the, the best, if you draw this L shape and extrude it, then all you have to do is add these two little mini towers and a couple cuts and a couple fillets and you're done. So you get most of the object by drawing this L shape. But you can't draw the L shape in the front plane. This is what you see in the front plane. So this is the right side. You have to use the right plane. Okay, so I use this plane. I drew that object, and it looks like that. Okay, so that's pretty simple. I didn't put any fillets in, nothing fancy. Just draw the sketch. Okay, and then I extruded it. Nothing fancy there. Okay, so now I draw. I want to put these two little pillars on. Um, like there was something okay so it tells it doesn't tell us how big these things are it tells us that it's two and a half but we do know they're equal you could do the math you could take the five subtract two and a half divide by two and figure that out but i just put two and a half and then i said i made that equal to that uh, same thing here this is three from here to here and then I made this equal to that. So that's one way. Or you can do the math and dimension it. Either way. It's pretty simple math. All right. So and now here's, in fact, most of you have gotten this. But even, uh, I'm starting to get used to this, but even I occasionally forget. When you go to do this extrusion, since the first extrusion was a new, it'll still say new. You have to go and change that. If you don't change it, notice we have three different colors here. So as soon as you see that, or as soon as I see that, ah, I forgot to do the. If you look at this, this surface is different than this surface is different than this surface. It even put two new parts down here. Okay. So that's obviously not right. So it's the easiest thing in the world to change. You just double click on this and you click on add. And then you go. And now the two parts went away. This is all one surface. It's all one thing. So um, I get, it seems like one or two people every assignment who forget to do that. Um, then I drew the sketch down here and cut it. Goes all the way through. And then it's just fillets. Now, there's a fillet here. And these are on the, on there on the outside corner are called rounds. So rounds and fillets. But the command you use is fillet, wherever it is. Um, now, I don't know if we've talked about this before. I think it was, well, last semester we did, but, um, 
It doesn't, there's no dimension on this fillet. There's no dimension on this fillet. But over here, it says rounds and fillets have a certain radius. So this tells you how big things are. Three fillets. Okay. Um, then you put the hole in and you're done. So that is the tube mount.